Hi everybody, this video about our final group project. In our final group project, our team will show you how traffic light works. For that, we need the Logisim software, which we already talked about in our slides. So let's start. So first of all, from our Explorer pane, we have to choose uh, input output device I choose the LED because this is traffic light and as you see we need the three LED lights so I, I did it so as you see they're still not working I'm just need to be sure that they are working I'm just testing them from our toolbar I need to choose pin uh, I did it and uh, choose the finger to see it works you see all colors are red you can adjust the colors using your attribute table so for that just choose your lights so this is already red we don't we don't need to change this color. The second one should be yellow. So go to your attribute panel and find on color. Go to on color and choose your color. It's gonna be yellow for our traffic light. Yeah, you see it changed. So next we have to change the last one for the green one. So it's a green. It's good. You see our traffic lights now are ready so I'm gonna delete these wires we don't need these wires anymore I deleted so to connect them together we need the splitter you can find splitter in your Explorer pane from wiring folders hey, here we go I got it so as you see there's only two outputs we need one more you can change it from your attribute table choose like fan out to the three and bit width to the three yeah now it changed also you can adjust the appearance like you can do south you can do north you can do west you can do so we need east yeah so let's connect them together here you go I connect them together so next we need the ROM read-only memory okay you can find the ROM from memory folder from your explore pane and choose uh, ROM read only memory and connect your ROM with your LCD lights I did it it shows incompatible widths because we have only three lights so our ROM is at a speed with 8 and that a bit with with 8 we need to make sure that it's 3 here you go I change them to the 3 Yeah, now it's good. So next, let's move this little bit back. Next, we need the counter to count our moves. So I'm gonna put counter here. And connect your counter with your ROM. It also shows incompatible widths because also you need to change data bits into three. I change and automatically maximum value change to the seven. So this is all good. And now we need the clock. Clock you can find in the I guess in the wiring. Yeah, in the wiring folder from your explorer pane. So choose the clock and connect your clock with your counter as 
this is incompatible delete this wire just move a little bit down and connect with the bottom dots you have to connect one more time from bottom and also we need to reset bottom to reset our program so reset bottom reset bottom should be in input outputs folder here you go so connect the reset bottom with your counter if you see the green line it means connection successful also black one to make them work just go to the simulate very bottom of your computer and you can do tick once simulation enable simulation reset simulation simulation enable or I forgot uh, we need to give them steps first to give them steps for your ROM uh, you need to choose your ROM from your attribute table go to the contents and uh, give them the contents like numbers like uh, one next one like uh, three next one two next one four just leave the zero here and repeat your numbers four two and one just close the window you see all this number now appears in your ROM to make sure that your ROM is works just go to simulate and ticks enable ah, don't forget frequency I put uh, 2 Hertz uh, ticks enable here you go our simulator is working so it means our team did a great job and deserve A Thank you very much for your attention. Bye-bye.